Hi, I'm Angel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working out my back tire spacing and um, how my motor is going to be sitting in the frame. It's uh, a little bit difficult right now to try and get my carb in the hole, so the motor is going to have to be placed a certain way um, for it to do all that and be able to line up with my back wheel and my sprocket right here. Good old PB blaster. PB blaster. Already having a few issues. There's a placement issue with how the carb is going to fit into the actual motor and the frame, and where the sprocket sits is not lining up. I'll have to figure that out when I take the tire off. Lastly is my drum brake. It's a opposite side brake, so I'm going to have to run a linkage from the other side to have it connect and work my brake. All right, let's get off this rear tire and see what the fuck's going on back here and get it all lined up. Oh. African fucking big ass B. That was good. Let's get this back tire off and we can figure out spacing and everything from there. One twenty B three. One twenty V three. One twenty V three. So, after looking at these closely, it looks like they're, it says England, and so they are probably Triumph or BSA uh, bearings, and I'll be able to get them. Biker Bob says this should not press fit into this, so I'm taking a razor, or a file, filing it on both sides and getting rid of any catch spots.
Um, this was the one that was in there. This is the one that's going to go in there. Uh, it's 20 verse lowest at its smallest point 16 at its tallest 18. Where it goes when this is mic'd out, it's 20. So we're going to try this in there. And we've already kind of tried it in there and it felt better than the one that is uneven. I don't know if you guys can see how uneven that is in this camera. So I had to look up a diagram and turn the flat pins, the steel pins against the non-movable side and flip the screws to be the right way. Now it, if you can see that, functions. How it should.
so you can see on this tire it says um, front fitment and they like to live dangerously back in the 60s where this frame was from um, and so do I because the part that I was just filing was more than likely asbestos um, should have been wearing gear but you only live once So, whee! they didn't have any spacers on this side before, um, and we noticed that this would have worked great, except that it is the slanty, so I'm going to use these two as some spacers right there. <laughs> to line up with my front sprocket um, I gotta take this back off they do work to hold it all tight into the frame so now I know that I can move one of these on the other side to move the tire more this way to make it more in line had to dig around in the box of spacers that we have to find something to go over this at a one inch or bigger so it evenly spaces to the back. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications to, for more updates on videos on when I post them. I ended up taking the back tire off again. I didn't put it in the video. Um, took this off. It looked too clunky. Originally the idea was to have a little Sailor Jerry's bottle run from it and twist as I drive, but uh, I thought it looked too clunky on the back tire and it, I think it was causing some interference on my drum. Uh, so it is eliminated and it looks much sleeker on the other side. You'll see in the upcoming videos. And I got my sprocket almost aligned with my engine.